What is up guys and welcome back to Be A Metal Fabricator. Today I'm going to be going over the absolute basics of sheet metal shaping. Everything from the simple hand tools that we're going to be using to what's actually going on while we're shaping a panel. First let's go over the basic tools. This is a basic metal shaping mallet. I got this from Pro Shaper. You want one of these, you can go down to his website and pick one up. These, this is really nice to have. You've probably seen me using this in my other videos. This is one of my favorite hammers right here. Slapper, this is a slapper spoon. Really simple, this is actually Harbor Freight. And then I weighted it with this piece of flat strap through this handle on there. And this thing works really good. I really like this slapper spoon. Uh, you got your basic body dolly. Real simple. We'll be going over hammer on dolly, hammer off dolly in this video. You got another plastic hammer. This is also from Harbor Freight. A couple of bucks. This does a job. I built, I built plenty of things with, with this. I built those big fenders up on the wall with those. I'll show you those in a second. This is a tucking tool. You used to tuck the edge of a, of a panel so that you could create your shrinks. You got your sandbag or your lead shot bag. This is always good to have. These aren't that expensive either. I filled it with some ditch sand um, and it works great too. I mean, I use that for all kinds of stuff, even if it's just a weight sometimes, right? And then the English wheel, that's just a small English wheel from Eastwood. You know, it's a couple hundred bucks maybe. It's, it's really not about the size of the tool you have. It's, it's really what you can do with it, right? It's not the size of the boat, it's the motion of the ocean, right? Whatever. So anyway, um, I, built those, I built those big fenders that are going on this Metro. I built those with those. I'll throw a picture of those up on the video right now. And um, like I say, you don't, need a, you don't need giant, big, expensive tools, power hammers, all that stuff to create these panels. Uh, a lot of times we're just doing simple patch panels to replace rust, and you don't need a power hammer for all that kind of stuff. You, you don't even need a, a mallet for that. You could use any hammer. So, All right, so I want to do this quick demonstration to show you guys exactly how metal moves and what's really going on. So we're going to pretend that this piece of clay right here is this sheet metal panel. They're so similar, they act the exact same. Let's pretend that my fingers are hammers and I'm gonna stretch the center of this panel, just like I'm gonna do on the metal. So stretching, 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 hammering, hammering, hammering. And you can see it's starting to dome out a little bit, right? That's exactly what's gonna happen with that sheet metal. Once we start hammering on the center of the panel, it's gonna start stretching and it's gonna create a dome. Now, with the shrinks, what you're going to do is you're going to, you know, it's the same thing, shrink it, you're just gathering material together, metal acts the same way, gather material, gather material, right, to create that dome shape. So that's, ex that's exactly what's going to happen with this sheet metal panel. So now what I'm going to do in order to create that dome shape, I'm going to stretch in the center of the panel. So let me draw a circle here. I'm going to stretch somewhere around there and I'm not going to touch the edge. The reason I'm not touching the edge is as I stretch the center of the panel, it's going to start creating the shrinking tucks on its own on the outside and it's going to get a little bit wavy. At that point, we might have to shrink the edges to get that perfect dome shape we're looking for. Let's start with that. Now for the sake of the video, I'm going to go ahead and use this big daddy hammer right here. So now, these are really kind of getting in my way. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to shrink these with the tucking tool. Now this tucking tool is really simple. These are grade eight bolts that I've ground and sharpened and welded together. And really all you do is you see how, how this has already got this peak in it. We're gonna take this, we're gonna twist this in, in that spot. So right there. So we're going to create that tuck. There you can see it. 
So then let's, let's go ahead and hammer that out. What you want to do is you want to capture this tuck in the metal so that when you hammer it, you know, a lot of guys hammer from this side back. This is kind of a small panel. So I'm going to actually hammer from here and I'm going to try to create, create like a, like almost like a crease in the steel. And I call that the spine that goes along the middle of this. And I'll show that to you right now. Now I'm going to lock this shrink in by hammering right here and right there. So that pretty much locks that in. So now you can see how it created that spine right there. See how that goes? It's like that nice S. That's, that's what we want in order to actually shrink this panel. So. I'm going to hammer that as flat as I can. And all I was doing there is planishing it out so it doesn't have too big of a spine in there. But you can see it's looking pretty good. So let's do that all the way around this and then we'll start stretching it and probably pl planishing this out a little more. Okay, you see that one? I kind of missed it. I didn't get that spine exactly in there because I didn't have my tuck tall enough to when I started hammering it, this just flattened back out instead of actually capturing that tuck. And that's what I mean about that spine over here. So let's try that again. Now that's nice and tall, but if I hammer this and this flops over, then I'm in real trouble. I don't want that to happen either. So let me try to hammer this out. Now that worked, and that really forced this metal together. Now you see how we're getting that dome shape, right? You can see where we stretched it. You can see all the marks where we shrunk it on the edge. I'm gonna put another shrink right here, and right here. Maybe another one right there. Let's do that real quick. Let's continue stretching in the center of this panel right here. So the nice thing about the English wheel is I can stick this in the English wheel and have this planished out in no time flat. But if you don't have an English wheel, I'm going to show you a little trick on how to planish this out. And it's, it would take a lot longer to do, but it's totally doable. First thing you do is you get a dolly and your slapper spoon and your magic marker. Now I have a whole video on how to exactly do this in depth, so check it out. I'm gonna do the center of this panel right here. So I'm gonna mark this. You can see how those are really low in there. Now you can use a file, sandpaper. Sandpaper is probably better so that you don't take off too much material. But, so we start with hitting it with the file. You can see where all the highs are and where all the lows are according to where, where that got scratched off. And right here it's really exaggerated, but I'm gonna just put my, <laughs> I'm just gonna put my dolly underneath here. I'm going to start hammer and dollying this. Hammer on dolly is what we want to do. Hammer on dolly is where you hear the That's hammer on dolly. Hammer off dolly would be where you put your dolly on a low spot and then you hammer off the dolly and hammering a high spot down. That's hammer off dolly.
Now you can see we're a lot closer there with our scratches. We've got some lows in here. Let's go ahead and keep hitting those. Okay, now that I've cleaned off that Sharpie, you can see that the top of this is planished pretty good. Let's see if I can get some light in there. I do that to the whole panel with one with that slapper hammer and that dolly, but I ain't got all night and neither do you. So let's uh, jump to the English wheel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put light to medium pressure on this. And we're just gonna planish out all those lumps and these wrinkles along the edge. So now that we're planished, you can start to see where we stretched in the center. And you can start to see the scars or the marks where we shrunk all the way around the panel. You can see those, you can see where the tucks were, where, where the shrinks were captured. This is where that metal was smashed together, like, like in the clay dough. And this is where it was, that's where it was stretched out. Now it's a little lopsided right now, but once we get this all planished, I'm gonna start tightening it up on the English wheel, and then we're gonna be able to start stretching more of the center of this panel to get that dome shape. And with the English wheel, I'm not going in any particular pattern. I'm just like looking and reading the panel and seeing where it's low, where it's high, where it's lumpy and I'm running over all those spots. All right, so we've got pretty much a little saucer shape. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna stretch this even more with the hammer. And I'm gonna bring that bowl out even, even more pronounced. So let's do that real quick. Now reading the panel again, it's telling me that I need to put a couple of shrinks in here if I want to exaggerate it that much. So let's listen to the panel and do that. Okay, let's go stretch this back on the English wheel. All right guys, now as you can see, we got that panel domed out. By hammering in the center and stretching the center and shrinking the edge of the panel, we got this convex shape to this piece of metal. So that's basically the simplest possible way that I could explain shaping metal. And I hope you guys could take to that and utilize it in your garage for your patch panels or whatever else you're building. If you guys like this type of stuff, like, subscribe, and I appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you in the next video.